Hello guys, hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Likamala Menyemi Tabo Mongezi. Yeah, just like I'm presenting. <laughs> but anyway, guys, welcome to my channel. The new subscribers, you guys are welcome to the old ones. Guys, Nyabonga for the support. And guys, please do not forget to subscribe as you're watching the channel on the subscription. This is a subscription thing under the video, just below the video there. You can just press that and also there's a bell button for notification and also you can comment on the commenting space below and yeah we can just have a convo and talk about anything and everything and also you can like the video and share and share and share so guys today i wanted to google my name something that happened and someone will look at it and say ah, you're a coward uh you know and you don't give it a chance and all that so remember guys that I was actually in a relationship with this particular person and this other person, you know? And we were madly in love, you know, we were madly in love, we were so in love, and this Stella song. Now that takes it to my previous video before this one. So guys, as you know that all relationships have like up and downs. You know they have a lot of up and downs and also it also depends on how you actually guys i think as i'm talking or like shooting this video i might as well be busy with my hair so that you know as soon as i'm done here i need to rush somewhere so we had up and downs and it also depends on how you you resolve or deal with your up and downs so there was this particular day we had it was a conversation that led to a heated argument you know and i remember in that argument begunema remarks you see if you don't want me anymore tell me you know if was a phone and i don't know why people say that a lot human argue to you know if you don't want me on and all that but that time we're having we're actually addressing an elephant in the room that we felt was no this is something that we needed to talk about you know and sort it out but that led into an argument and it gets so heated that now being a sassy my voice lalo we won't say and I remember in like that CNJ would say, I remember he stood up from the bed and he went to the wardrobe to take out his stuff. And I was thinking to myself, okay, how did now that escalator get to this point where now I'm going to the comment like and leave, you know? And he walked to the other side of the bed. There were, okay, these the side tables, bedside tables. And they had this small and glass vases. They are so hot, the glass is so thick. And he took that and he threw it my way. I don't know whether the aim was Gusha Minengayo or what, but it landed on the it landed on the TV. As we all know how stupid plasma TVs are, it's, it just went off, you know? And I thought we'll see, it was that and Nyalonga, but not okay, this now is actually getting serious. And he went to, there was a, a, a glass kettle. He took the glass kettle and he threw it on the floor. And with that point in time, I looked at this person, he looked like someone that I don't know, someone I've never met. And I did not understand which, how did the conversation escalate to that level. Now I was like worried and scared. Would say, why are you doing what you're doing? And when in his statement, while he's doing that, he's saying, me would say, I want the next person who's gonna move in here to start from scratch. Like, mind you, 
you got the things ninato, you know? And you're saying you want the next person who's coming to start from scratch. Uzamatin, you know, why? Firstly, we didn't say it's over with breaking up. And you're saying that you wanted the next person to start from scratch. What's really happening? And I went, you know, held his hand to actually stop him from good major more things. But uh, uh, now it became more like a physical. You know, I was trying to so that he stops what he's doing. But I remember where he pulled my hair. <laughs> I see this, guys, you know. I remember where he pulled my hair. I don't know what I did here. Okay, no. You know, I remember he pulled my hair. And as painful as it was, my aim was to try and drag him out of the house because I could have had a chance to to run out and leave him in the house, you know, to destroy whatever, or to take him out and lock the butler so he can go all gaga, but outside, you know. And now we're renting in back rooms with other tenants. Now that's actually causing an alarm and people are now outside. And he was now upstairs as well, you know. And I was trying to go, you know, I, I'm, I don't fight at all. In as much there was power, I, I, I did not want to even lay my hand on him. And I didn't want it to get to that point. And I tried to pull this person out. I tried to pull him out until I got to a point where I was And I locked myself into the house while he was outside. And I was like, you know, it's fine. You can make all noise and stuff like that, but do not destroy my things because first is that I've worked so hard, you know, to accumulate the little that I have. It might have been the little, but you sweat. You know, you work so hard to, to, to get this and one person wants to destroy that because of an argument and thinking, would see, I was saying it's over. I was not, I didn't even say it's over. He thought maybe us talking, it's a matter of now this person is actually going to dump him. And for me, that was a deal breaker. You know, the next person said, you're a coward, but that for me was a deal breaker. And I've, I've told myself, Guti, I've never been involved in being, you know, like fighting, like physical fight and all that. And I looked, in the, I looked at that situation, I felt, would say, this might be the start. Of something hectic or something toxic because in that situation chances are the next time i'll be scared to address things that i feel good are a problem because i'll be thinking good see what if it gets hectic or it goes that direction it goes south you know and that day from that day i never looked at him the same way i never looked at him, at him the same way in as much as I said, uh, I forgive, but forgiving, I don't know whether it was out of fear of the worst that might happen or what, you know? Because I want to get away, Kuti, he to me, he was good. He was sweet. But on that day, I felt, Kuti, now I'm scared, you know, of what might possibly happen. And not because of, Kuti, Nyam Saba to fight him back, but I don't want to do that. Not with my hands. I am not violent. And that for me was like, you know what? I don't want to be in this environment. You know, in as much as I love this person, one way or the other, I need to, to find a way to, to end things, you know? But it didn't happen overnight because even when he apologized and said, no, I will replace, but it was not a matter of replacing what's already done, you know, because had that landed on my face, 
You cannot say I'm sorry and cannot replace my scar. You know? And you cannot replace what you already instilled in me, the fear. And now it's taking away also the voice. And address things that I feel are a problem. You know? So that for me was a deal breaker. And the next person would think, would say, no, but Bell Coward, it was the first attempt. Yes, it was. You know, it was the first attempt, look what Kala is. But I didn't know, would say, after that, how many of those are we going to have? Because eventually, also with the, the behavior, whatever that made us argue, there was a chance that we were going to argue about the same thing again. And we'll leave that to what? You know, so that for me was a problem. Not saying that he was an abuser, I don't know. He was not when we were in the relationship at all. And that one incident changed the game for me. And I was now looking for a way out. We stayed together in the same house, but now I was tippy-toeing because I was thinking, I, I, I don't want to see myself in this environment. And I'm sure... Nah, if he was to actually watch this video, he would probably maybe get an answer of one of the reasons why I left. Because I felt we'll see, we had so much going on. We had our ups and downs and things that were happening. But that was the... Like, no. Run. And with that, I'm I, I, I didn't chase him out. Like I told myself, you know what? I need to have a way to 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 tell him of how why like how we actually meet or we must break up or how we need to like a way forward from here. And I think I don't know if it was because of the fear <laughs> and what was going on in my head. I started planning. It's okay. How do I? take myself out of the situation you know they i told him Guti, you know he, he he had certain things that he did after that and i was like dude i feel good see it's better you moved back home i think i i, I remember telling him Guti, i think that would work for the relationship if we you know at distance and try and work on ourselves but back in my head i think maybe not i don't think that was an excuse because back in my head, I knew would say, this is the problem and I cannot live in fear with someone that I love. And in as much as I loved him, I was willing to let go, you know? And Savu I was okay, true, cool, please, it's fine, you know? Then he said, no, I'll come and get my stuff. He came to get his stuff. And I remember when I went outside to... To the car with a hand to forget stuff in the, in the car and I went back to the house for the first time I broke down for the guy I cried you know I cried because part of me felt but I also couldn't live in fear and when he left, after he left, then I wanted to find a way to tell him that it's over. And you know, it was not the easiest thing to do. It was not the easiest thing to do because I had, you know, you love this person. You, you, you have this thing, this and that, that you feel is a problem. But now there's this thing that now I think it shifted my mindset. You know, it didn't make me bitter, but it shifted my mindset from the whole thing. But it also didn't take away the fact that I love the person. But still, I couldn't. You know? And when that happened, when I got to a point where I told him straight, it was okay. When I told him, would say, this is the end of the road for us. I moved from where I was staying. <laughs> I know, like, my, like I'm a bit a coward, but I moved from where I was staying because I wanted to avoid 
having him coming to my place to ask for forgiveness or him coming to my place to fight i don't know but i was just i just couldn't you know i just moved from where i was staying even when he called and said can you please meet and talk and stuff like that i couldn't i couldn't because i felt good even if we were to to disagree on something what if i you know like there's something that i saw on that day that even today even to date I remember his expressions and his face, like his face and how he was. And it looked like someone that I, I don't know. Like I've never shared that a bed with that particular, like that person. And that was a deal breaker. And I, I didn't want to make excuses for it. Because you know what, this is it. And I need to find myself or make a way out of this whole thing. I moved and looked for a different place where I knew good chances of me seeing him or meeting him are very, very slim, you know? And that happened. And I was I was glad you would say, now I've got an option whether to answer or not answer his phone. And the only thing I was thinking was, what if he comes to work and want to talk? But still, I was like, okay, work is a safer place. You know, there's people and all that. But... I think I just, it just instilled fear, and I didn't want to be in that environment, you know. So other people might be in situations where they fight maybe with their partners and it gets physical and they feel it's okay. I don't know, but there are some things I believe Guti, you don't do them to someone you say you love. Can be the first time, the first time it's a sign to show that you are capable and you are capable of unleashing the monster that is in you that doesn't want to talk but resort into using their hands or things around them to solve what might be a problem in front of them. So, okay, guys. Yeah, I think that's one thing I actually wanted to talk about. Yeah. But anyway, that is me and my, my story. <laughs> okay, guys, until the next video. Guys, it's mega love from me to you until the next video. I love you. Please don't forget to subscribe. And guys, I'm going to post uh, something at the end of this video. It's my small onion hustle. Please do support. Thank you. Goodbye.